Hi all, myself Sana Sheikh. Today in this video, I will be discussing about LCMS or liquid chromatograph or mass spectrometer. Introduction LCMS is a hyphenated technique. Now, what does this word mean? Hyphenated technique. Hyphenated technique means coupling of two analytical technique or analytical instrument. Second point, LC, physical separation capability, MS, mass analysis, uh, analysis capability. LC, as we all know, is used for separating mixture, while MS, which is used for identifying the components, which is based on the principal mass by charge ratio, and gives information about number of ions. Combination of separation power of LC with detection power of MS. Uh, now LCMS as its name suggests a device that is a combination of liquid chromatograph and mass spectrometer. Sample not analyzed by GCMS are analyzed by LCMS. Uh, the sample of materials which are not analyzed by GCMS are analyzed by this technique either because of the reason thermal instability or high polarity or maybe high molecular weight. The reason might be anything or compounds of biological interest such as peptides, protein, nucleic acid are also analyzed by LCMS. This is the instrument of LCMS, this is how it looks. Coming to the theory part of LCMS, HPLC separate out the components from mixture and transfer to MS for identification of compounds. Two capabilities of two distinct instrument, LC and MS, separation and detection, that is separation of LC and detection of MS. Uh, detector is removed from the column of LC and fit the column to interface of MS. Now in LCMS what they have done, the detector has been removed from the L, uh, LC and the column from the column um, and fit the column to the interface through which it is connected to MS. LC consists of solvent while MS doesn't. Metabolites appear from the end of the column and the mass detector where the solvent is removed and the metabolites are ionized. LC consists of solvent and MS do not deal with any solvent. So solvents get removed or evaporated. Remaining metabolites need to be ionized. So ionized molecule enter into MS so that the components are identified by their mass to charge ratio. Problems in combining LCMS. These two are distinct and their operations are also distinct. So what are the problems which we face while combining these two? Or so in LC, liquid phase operation in MS, vacuum operation. So operation of LC is in liquid phase while for MS it is in vacuum. Second point 25 to 50 degrees Celsius in MS 200 to 300 degrees Celsius. So in LC it works on lower temperature and in MS temperature is higher. No mass range limitation in MS up to 4000 Dalton. So there is no range limitation or any Dalton range of molecule can be identified in LC, uh, but we have limitation in MS. Heavy molecule cannot be ionized. Fourth point, inorganic buffers, MS volatile buffers. Inorganic buffers are required while in MS which deals with gaseous components, so volatile buffers are required. 1 ml per minute element flow is equivalent to 500 ml per minute of gas. 10 ml per minute gas flow. So there is a huge difference in HPLC output and MS inlet. There are technical disadvantage while linking this two. And that is why interface becomes important.
but this is not that easy by removing detector of LC and attaching LC and MS with endophase. So what is endophase? Basically, they are ionized source, ion source, sorry, ion source. Interface to connect the LC outlet to the MS inlet that can efficiently transfer the LC mobile phase to gas and at the same time ionize the analytes. Interface is important uh, because these two analytical instruments are very distinct in their operation. We need a certain instrument which has to uh, which has the capacity to make sure that these two instruments run simultaneously and smoothly. So uh, if we what uh, if we directly attach LC with MS without intro introducing interface, so what happens? The excessive amount of gas will be introduced, and this is not the efficient way for carrying out the operation. So we introduced interface what are the different uh, in interface we can use the most common lcms interfaces are electrospay ionization esi atmospheric pressure chemical ionization apci and last atmospheric pressure photo ionization appi let's see this in detail electrospay ionization esi ESI draws sample solution to the tip of capillary tube where it applies a high voltage of about 3 to 5 kV. Uh, it is a type of evaporative ionization technique. We will see diagram simultaneously so the understanding becomes easier. A nebulizer gas flows from outside the capillary charge droplets are created. First, ESI draws sample solution to the tip of a capillary tube where it applies a high voltage of, of about 3 to 5 kV. So, first uh, through capillary sample is injected and at the tip of the capillary high voltage is applied and uh, sample is spread due to the presence of ne uh, nebular gas and uh, why, uh, why we uh, uh, charged droplets are created why charged because we had applied high voltage potential so your charged ions are forms formed a nebulizer gas works as spraying of sample so nebular flow has to be maintained as this charged particles move the solvent continues to evaporate and if solvent continue to evaporate due to the movement of charged particles fission occurs evaporation and fission cycle is repeated droplets become small sample ions are liberated into the gas phase so if any force inside the droplets get exceeds the surface tension uh, what happens this results into continuous breakdown of droplets into even smaller droplets or uh, that is called fission so first what we had seen evaporation when this nebular flow helps to spray the sample so and uh, the solvent is evaporated so due, due to this charge particles movement so that is evaporation and the next is fission so this evaporation and fission cycle occurs occurs and uh, so this is how sample is converted into molecular ion and liberated i uh, liberated into the gas phase <coughs> or inlet of ms coming to the next apci or atmospheric pressure chemical ionization uh, it is a APC is an ionization technique using gas phase ion molecule reaction at atmospheric pressure. APCI or atmospheric pressure chemical ionization is a type of soft ionization technique and is a combination of chemical ionization and electrospay ionization with somewhat deviation. So look, uh, coming to the working part, sample will be injected into the capillary 
and this capillary is heated by heating coil and from your nebula, uh, nebulizer gas is passed or N2 is passed in the form of nebulizer gas is supplied which helps to spray the sample and analyte. Apart from the heated nitrogen gas is part as a di uh, dissolution gas which helps to uh, vaporize the sample and analyte. So initially it will be in the form of droplets and later as analyte and solvent vaporize and come, uh, the second part comes is corona discharge. Corona discharge electrode or uh, beta emitter is used to evaporate the solvent or uh, to ionize and to ionize sample vapor. Then what happens? MH plus ions are formed and uh, APCI may produce positive and negative ions simultaneously and ultimately goes to the ion acceleration chamber and from there it goes to the mass analyzer. Coming to the last part that is APPI atmospheric pressure photo ionization. This is also a type of soft ionization technique similar to APCI but what what is the difference is in APCI corona discharge electrode has been used to ionize and in APPI we had used krypton lamp as ionized source. So your photo means light so what happens here vaporization is carried out using heater gas is generate, uh, gas is generated by using heater at atmospheric pressure and is passed through the beam of photons. Solvent is heated then uh, which result into gas and this gas travels and interact with photons of UV lamp and then this photons generate the charge molecule which is then passed into the MS due to the photons generated as by UV light of krypton lamp. Coming to the mass analyzer, magnetic field is scanned to measure different ions, ions deflect based on mass to charge ratio. So the ions are then deflected by magnetic field according to their masses. The lighter the masses they are the more they get deflected. The positives are the positive ions are deflected based on mass to charge or in simple the value outcome is called char mass to charge ratio. What are the different analyzer? Quadrupole mass filter, time of flight, ion trap, Fourier transform ion, uh, cyclotron resonance FTICR. Last application of LCMS. Uh, LCMS is used in pharmaceutical companies, biochemical, food industries. It is also used in environment and to identify things in forensic labs. So in pharmaceutical it is used to identify benzodiapines, uh, bile acid metabolite identification. In biochemical it is used to identify protein. In food for uh, identification of aflatoxin. In environment, phenylurea herbicide is detected in the detection part it is used. Then in the forensic it is used to identify illegal substance and explosive. And as, thank you.